is Twilight Tunes. And now we pause. Oh. It's Toilet Tunes. I'm your host, Sarah Morris. Folks come to my big green bathroom somewhere north of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we sing a little, we talk a bit, we put it out on the internet. Just in time for your Friday afternoon. Of course it's the internet, so you go on and watch it when you choose. That was a killer pause face. <laughs> my name is Sarah Morris. I invite people into my big green bathroom and uh, people like Sammy Jean Cohen. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, are you ready to sing a song? Yeah. It feels like uh, it works out all the angsty demons and you don't have the button on here, but <laughs> you had a button about let your demons, what was it? Oh shoot, let your demons. Your demons are welcome here. Yes, your demons are welcome here. And they are, <laughs> but we're gonna work them out right now. Okay. <laughs>
coming to me, uh, to us, to you, by the Heartless Bat. Well, no, Heartless Bastards. There's yes. no the. Uh, the Heartless Bastards. Nope. Oh, Heartless, Heartless Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. I should know. Which is actually a, a person. <laughs> so, and probably she's got a lot of heart. Yeah. Is her, my guess. Her band is great and her solo was amazing. It was great. You sound beautiful. Um, Sammy and I just met, what, 30 minutes ago? 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I like tunes. It's so good for that. So, Sammy Jean. Cohen. Do we ever call you Sammy Jean? Sammy Jean works, okay. yeah. Or Samantha. Or Samantha. If you're mad at me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not mad at you. Um, tell us just a little bit about you. Yeah. Um, I was born and raised in northeast Minneapolis. and a good place. It is. And I kind of like to say I'm a little, a bit, I like to say I'm a little, oh my gosh. Like, I'm a little bit from everywhere. Does that make sure. sense? It totally makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And because I've just kind of been in a lot of places. And, um, yeah, I love music and got a lot of goals. And I also do photography. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful photography. <laughs> um, we can talk about that a little bit. When you... Because sometimes you do music photography. I mean, I feel like I see yeah. other musicians, like, posting these amazing pictures, and it's that you took them. Yeah. So when you go to find Sammy Jean Cohen, which I'll link to all the things below, is your photography under a different... It is. ...handle? Yep, that's under no aesthetic stills. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's just kind of pictures of everything and anything, and they're all edited all so differently and it's just kind of my art palette. I love it. When yeah. did you, when did someone put a camera in your hands? Oh God. Or when did you <clears throat> steal a camera from somebody? Honestly, I think I was either five or six and it was either my uncle or my grandma because I've got a whole side of photographers on my dad's side, but what my like real memory is taking my uncle's camera it was like a canon and i thought how cool that you could snap something and catch a memory and i would like just stare at pictures for hours just different pictures so i thought it was so cool and like history and yeah wow yeah still gets me oh i love it <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i love it um, you've been singing all around town and I just like two days ago was talking to someone and told him, Dan Rumsey, oh. dear friend, that I was going to see you and he's like, oh, she's so phenomenal. Oh. So, uh, I'm Dan, you're great too. Yes. <laughs> he is great. He is great. Um, so we are going to ask you a few questions because that's what we do on Toilet Tunes. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but the first question that I like to ask people is, Sammy G. Cohen, will you? Tell me something good. Uh -uh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> something good. Big, little, uh, out there, in here. Just something good. Whew. I'm here. I like that. I'm here, and I'm making a new friend, and just, like, saying a wonderful, amazing song with a also wonderful person that does this, and... Yeah, that's my present, my the now. Yeah, good thing. Thank you. Yeah, for saying that. And I also love the being present in the now. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, let's just take a deep breath. Let's do it right now. We're all gonna take okay, it. Ready? ready? <sighs> that felt good. That did feel good, didn't it? Um, I hope you did it with us. I do. <laughs> I think a collective breath is a really. I mean, it's necessary. It is. And. Uh, and nutritive is one of my words about that. Um, well, that is good. I'm really glad you're here. I should send you a link to share with them this like really cute rainbow that like breathes and he breathes like a different color. Oh, yes. And then when the clouds come, it's like, <sighs> it's really cool. Like a little it's meditation cute. visual? Yeah. Yes. It's for kids. I typed in meditation uh, for kids. <laughs> let's all be kids. <laughs> And I think that's great. Yeah. Yes, I would love you to share that, and we will put that under the tongue <laughs> so you could down below. That's right. Um, so the next question I like to ask is, where are you learning right now in your Ooh, life? Um, how to be patient with myself 
Is that what you mean? Like, well, just like, yeah, where is it showing? General? Where is learning happening? Which could be, could be that, could be anything. Okay. It's just however you'd interpret that question. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm trying to learn not to be such a perfectionist because mm -hmm. I hold back a lot and i um, been learning some uh, finger picking on YouTube and Ooh. yeah, I've been trying to, I have ADHD really bad and it's, gotten really bad in the last month um mm -hmm. just from being out sick for almost all month and um just feeling all over the place so just yeah, yeah just trying to learn some finger picking patience and uh taylor james donsky i'm kind of learning some different strumming he's been here patterns oh has he he's yes. great he's hi taylor great. james donsky if you're watching this <laughs> Um, yeah, because I kind of get in the same strumming pattern, oh, so yeah. I'm like, I need, I need to learn some stuff and just kind of shake out of my comfort zone and, because I'm all self-taught and I don't want to, yeah. you know, be comfortable. I want, I like challenges, so, yeah. Have you found a finger picker <laughs> that's finger picking good, like for your favorite one? <laughs> <laughs> Have you, I, I hope that someone, I, have, finger I, finger. Hope that, I hope that Sorry. someone's channel, like I really hope already someone's taken that, but if not, we should take it. I think you're going to have to repeat what you just said. I know. <laughs> like, have you found a YouTuber that's like your favorite? That's like oh. your fi for finger picking. That yeah. you would give the stamp of approval, which we would oh. call finger picking good. Well. So who's finger picking good? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I watch like a different ton of people but I really I've watched this guy for a while time to time Marty Schwartz okay he's actually kind of a fun he's like Taylor guys I'm Marty Schwartz <laughs> today and I'm just like dude hi Marty if you're watching yeah I'm gonna I'll send you this nailed it. <laughs> he's awesome though he's just you're just like cool that's super cool because I haven't dealt too much into the world of like YouTube teaching me guitar, but I would like, I mean, it just feels like why wouldn't we take advantage of some of that free school? It's easy for me. It's easier. Like what I'm doing with Taylor, like in person. So mm -hmm. someone can like correct me if they see something, but, um, you know, YouTube's there. I got to stop being so stubborn and just use it. Finger picking good. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like God. that you have a great laugh. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, you so, <laughs> so where are you learning is kind of like, where are you learning right now, which is, that's beautiful. You'll need the patience okay. for the finger picking as well. Um, but the next question is, for you, what is the steady beat of it? And by that I mean like something that you can return to over and over again, like a steady beat that is supportive to you in some way, like something that you just know you can rely on. Oh, can I have in more context? Because I'm five years old. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, is there a person, a poem, a saying, an activity, like something that you just know that no matter what, like you can go back to that thing Ooh. and it's going to. That's a tough question. Give you, give you your heartbeat, the steady beat of it. Gosh, I want to say like hiking. Yeah? Yeah. You lived in Montana for a minute, so yeah. you must enjoy the outdoors. Oh my god, I loved, oh, I could spend time out there even if it was like below 50. Like, mm. the mountains actually, the mountains make my heart beat yeah. and rely and, yeah, yeah. Hiking, that's a good thing. Hiking in the mountains with oh some heartless gosh. bastards. <laughs> This would be an amazing song to sing on a hike because it does have like a really driving beat. Yeah. And if you were just like leading a hike and like I feel like you could get everyone in lockstep. Ooh. I think that'd be really cool. I think you're onto something. I liked the line, I'm going out into, I'm going out into the sweet unknown. Yes. And I thought, Sammy, what would be your sweet unknown? That's not a normal <gasps> question. I'm just asking well, you. I mean, I feel like we're always in the sweet unknown but like mm -hmm. I think I was telling you earlier like um gosh like five six years ago I just kept having dreams about going to the mountains 
and making new friends and seeing all this wildlife and like I was in a really bad spot in my life, like really bad. And with like jujitsu and I'm really open about this, but I joined a, a Coda Anon Anonymous meetings like six years ago and between those two it like really changed my life and so I kind of went on this whole thing where I just like got rid of a lot of stuff and I packed my car and I listened to my dreams and I just like literally left to Montana and got a job doing horticultural cool. or landscaping out there and so to me that was the sweet unknown. You like did it. Some, I just just listened to my gut, listened to my heart and I was like I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm gonna go and do it, and and it was the best thing ever in my life. So cool. yeah, let's all go into our sweet unknown. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes it's big like that, sometimes it's little, but like that's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for letting me share that. I'm so glad. Uh, the last question is kind of easy. Would you take us all? We're all listeners. That's, we're music people. Take us by the metaphorical ear and spin us out into something you're listening to that's getting you hot, in addition to the Heartless Bastards. Ooh, oh, gosh. But something else that's, like, really lighting your pants on musical fire. Ooh. Oh. I've been listening a lot to Loretta Lynn. Mm. Not, like, a lot, but... I can't just like listen to one person. I have to like, like you're talking to somebody that like changes in the middle of the song and then goes back to listen to that song again. Like yeah. in the middle, like I am so all over the place. Uh huh. But here, how about let me? Let's look. Let's go to yeah. The, go to the phones. Cause oh girl, my <laughs> oh Brandy Carlisle oh, actually. Sure. Yes. Yes. Which I've, one? Uh, Which one you got God, there? Uh, is it Broken Horses? Yeah. The That song? Okay. Oh my gosh. She's so... I think she's one of the like... Broken Horses. Biggest gifts we have in the musical world right she now. She is just like... Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's amazing. Have you gotten to see her live? I haven't. She was never really like on my list before. Um, like, I mean, I'm sure she was, but, I, but now I'm like... I gotta go see her live. Yeah. I actually fell in love with her via live performance. I feel like most artists, I fall in love with the recording first, but mm. every once in a while, it's the other way around. And back in 2008, I saw her perform, and I was like, didn't know much of her stuff, and then I was, just, I was so blown away, and any time I've seen her since then, I just don't know that there are that many people that are out there that are doing her level consistently and have such a sense of bringing people together like we were talking about you've been dreaming of curating a series where you bring people together like yeah. it's always so inspiring to see I think our community does that really well we have a lot of people who yeah. focus on like ways to bring other musicians together it's inspiring to see someone at her level who for sure doesn't have to yeah she doesn't need to do any of that but she does work to make a community and uh she's always jumping on other people's collaborative shows or like asking people to collaborate with her and I think yeah. when we're super famous and we'll do that too yeah absolutely <laughs> yep sounds good we'll still do it <laughs> we'll still do it yeah, um that's great that is awesome you're awesome you're awesome you have a show coming up <laughs> I made you a poster now yeah. you can find the poster it's coming up in eight days it's at the white squirrel you if you watched the show before you might know I love the white squirrel I talk about it a lot it's on December 16th and what's Hottest of hots about it is it's from 1 to 4 p.m. Matinee show That's at the right. White Squirrel. It's got a theme song. Squirrel. 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 Did you ever see Up the movie? Yes. <laughs> Such a Squirrel. cute movie. Um, it's with the M's mm -hmm. and White Liar. No, what was the other? White Liar, yeah. It's, it's not a White movie. Liar is a bird. Keith told me. Oh. Yeah. Is it spelled different? Like L-Y-R-E? Yeah, L-Y-R-E, yep. Oh, did you <laughs> no, I actually didn't put it on there because oh. my, my pen was not being very attractive. So I figured I'd just remember it. I can't believe that's in eight days. It's coming up. Are you excited? Oh my gosh. Yes. Do you I'm play really when you play out? Are you bringing anyone with you as part of your band, or is it just solo Sammy Jean? Just um, solo, just solo dolo Sammy Jean. Awesome. I think the White Squirrel is just a fantastic place to just spend yeah. all your hours. So 
And they're open a lot of them. But daytime music, there's nothing, to me, cooler. With great people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the great bar staff. Yes, tip your bartenders. bartenders. Tip your bartenders. This episode is sponsored by, ready for this? Um, Willow Bridge Center. Willow Bridge Center is in Isanti. Have you ever been to Isanti? Oh, I'm sure. Sh- yes. Yes. You've been everywhere. You said. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. It's a uh, full service salon, spa situation. They also have acupuncture and they have yoga classes and they have a beautiful gift store. And it's like just enough away out of town that you can, um, you know, really get away, which that is really nice. Really and they're nice. sponsoring our episode and they sent me some incense. And you know who's never lit incense before? Me. And so I'm going to try that. Right here. I get to... Well, does it work? Let's get the paper out of it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> does it work? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Blue tunes is getting, Well, for sure. I just was excited. So... I don't blame you. Did I work? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet! So, we're, we've got their incense going. Willow Bridge, thank you. So, you can go there this... Oh, are we supposed to... And then it just goes. Yep. Thank you. Thank goodness. Sammy Jean Cohen is here. Oh my goodness. And they sent me all these beautiful, there's some hand lotion. Do you need some? Oh, girl, always. Put some hand lotion yeah, up. Yeah, I'll try that. So they sell Aveda and all manner of like your favorite products. And uh, they gave me these iPads that I'm going to cool. And they look like avocados. And avocados are probably my favorite food. So I'm very excited about this. Do you like avocados? Oh, it smells really, oh my gosh. Does it? I love avocados right. too. Would you put avocados on your eyes if I they were cold? Probably would. You probably would. So nice. make an appointment. Go see the people at Willow Ridge. They're amazing. And it was really nice of them to say they want to be a supporter of Toilet Tunes. Then we're also going to thank my all the time sponsors of the show, my Sarah subscribers over at Patreon. These humans have at some point or another signed up and said, "Yeah, Sarah." I believe in you to the point of $3 a month or $5 a month, and I think you should keep doing crazy things like inviting strangers into your bathroom, strangers who end up being really awesome like Sammy Jean Cohen. Sarah subscribers, I love you so much. Yes. Um, today is December 8th. We're actually having a big holiday show at the Hooking Ladder. I might see some of you there, and I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Um Toilet Tunes has a couple more episodes before we take a break for the new year. And uh, so I want to say thank you to you. Thank you. you. Taking a chance on a stranger. I want to say thank you to you for showing up with your lunch to watch Toilet Tunes. And until next Friday, I'm going to say stay Toilet Tunes. It's going to get stuck <laughs> in my head.